not only does as CNN anchor Don Lemon have a new book coming out, but today he himself has come out. His memoir is called Transparent, and he joins me now. Welcome to my show, Don. I just love you, too. You're can I, can I yeah. tell you, Joy? Oh, it's going to be a love Oh, fest. it's going to be a love I love you, Joy Behar. I watch you every day because you know what? You have a sense of humor, and you have to have a sense of humor about all things, right? Oh, yeah. That's what keeps marriages yeah, together. Absolutely. It's certainly not sex. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, what do I say to someone who's just come out besides congratulations? I guess so. You know, it's funny because people were, have been sending me tweets and messages saying, do I say congratulations for being who you are? Yes. You know? For saying yeah, who you yeah. are in public. But I'd have to say at this point, we should say congratulations. Definitely. Because it, it's a milestone. You have to get to a certain point in order to be comfortable enough to do this. And then sometimes you're not that comfortable, so you just need to push yourself to do it. Right. But wh any particular reason why now? Well, it, it, it was part of writing the book. It just sort of came out of writing the book, and, and I didn't say, oh, I'm going to go in and write a book. Someone approached me to write a book. It was supposed to be this little pamphlet about, you know, brush your teeth, shake your boss's hand, have a firm handshake, smile, be the first one in the office. Oh, how to be successful. How to be successful. Uh -huh. and, and, and I started okay. writing it, and I said, you know, there are enough of these books around. I, you know, who needs me to, to say that? Mm -hmm. And I started writing about my childhood and who I am, and it became cathartic. It just started coming it out of me. It just started you. coming out of me. And so the more I started writing about it, the, I, I, was, I was nervous. And I could have taken it out at any point. Um, but then, you know, when the student at Rutgers University killed himself, yes. I said, leave it in there. The one who was being observed. Tyler then, Clemente, yeah. Yes, and then they put it out yeah. and humiliated the boy. Yeah. And so yeah. I said, leave it in there. Mm -hmm. And um, because there shouldn't have to be people like him. And if I had had someone like me who had chosen to live their lives out and proud, there'd be no need for the Tyler Clementes of the world or for teenagers to want to kill themselves because right. they're concerned well, about Well, that's why sexuality. what you're doing is worthwhile. Yeah. But you, it's very important. And yeah. they see a successful, gorgeous dude like you who says, listen, this is what I am. What are you, what are you trying to do, Joy? I'm trying to come on Are you on hitting you. on me? I'm hitting on you. I, you know, once somebody Didn't you read the, the book, Joy? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you haven't read the book. No, no I did. I, I did. did. I, I did read the whole thing, but you know, I read a yes. lot of what I can. Anyway, there's a lot of homophobes out there, though. Yeah. Now you have an audience. Who are you telling? I know. And so, do you think it's going to hurt you at all, professionally, or do you care, or what? You know, I, I would say I cared yesterday, right? But um, you cared yesterday. I cared yesterday before it happened, and. I don't know if care is the right word for today because uh -huh. I feel like whatever happens from this point on, what will be will be. And if okay. the broadcast, if there's not enough room for a gay anchor, gay black anchor, or whatever it is, then um, my career will transform into something else. I will be successful and I will, I will, pros I will prosper at something else. And I think that's a lesson in this, especially to young people. Mm -hmm. Is that you can all you have to do is just keep moving, just stay in the game, and you know that because yeah, you that's have what to you keep, did. Just stay in the game and stuff. stay alive. So if it doesn't work out that I'm not, you know, the anchor man and the main guy on CNN or whatever, then mm -hmm. something else will happen and, and I'll be fine. Do you think that other news people, male and female, will come out as a result of this? I don't know if it's as a result. I think every little bit helps. Drip, drip, drip. Everything helps. Um, I'm not saying they should. It would be great. If they did, quite honestly. How, how would they do it, though, if they don't have a book? I, I always think, how are they going to do it? Go on TV and say, I'm gay today? Yeah, uh, you just know, tweet it. And other news, just uh, tweet Trump it. is not running just, for president? Just do what I did last <laughs> night when the New York Times article came out. I tweeted it to the people, and Which, I said, you hey. And so, you, I mean, I'm just joking. Just tweet it. But I think it's... I tweet think it. It's, That's interesting. I think it's just important <clears throat> to live your own truth yeah. in your own being, in your own life. Mm -hmm. And if someone asks you the question in an interview or in any format, just say yes, next question. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, I know that you're an objective news person. Yeah. And so you're going to have people sit there with you like Rick Santorum, who seems like a big homophobe, and others mm -hmm. because they're running for president or whatever. And we'll talk about <laughs> gay marriage, et cetera. How do you feel that you'll be able to handle that easily? Well, I can talk about President Obama and be objective and I'm a black man. I can talk about having a mortgage and having your house not being worth what it was three, four years ago and, and be a journalist. Right. I don't, think, I don't think just because I'm gay that it, makes, it takes my brain away right. <laughs> or it makes me not be ob objective. I've been doing this job for a long time and I've been objective and I think I've been fair. 
And I'm human. And if I make a mistake and I go too far in something, then I'll just apologize and I'll move on. People who are heterosexual do that. Yes. I mean, you know, you cover issues that have probably have to do with being a Jewish woman I'm or what Jewish, have you. I'm not Jewish. I'm just having well, The woman. So I'm, 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 yeah. I'm no, sorry. No, people think I'm Jewish. You know why no I said that? I say. It's because of our conversation before this. Which that's why oh, I thought. Oh, be in the, during the break? Yeah. But I happen right. to be Italian. What yeah, I know. That? I mean, I say it constantly. I'm Italian. No one believes me. <laughs> You know, a few years you're ago, every, a few years woman. ago, Don, I got a call. Happy Hanukkah. I said, Ma, I'm not Jewish. <laughs> okay, now tell me, tell me about. <laughs> I say you're every woman. We were having that conversation before. That's what I said. Tell about. me about the down low. I must hear about the down low. You know, I have to tell you, I don't really know about the down low because I haven't played that game. I know tell, of what it. What is the game? Explain. Well, it it's, to be, me. it's because it's because in black culture, the worst thing you can be really is a gay man. Right, a gay black man. That's the worst thing you can be. So you, you're afraid that black women won't accept you, your family, the church, yeah, yeah. people. You're, and then you know every other gay person who's not black has to deal with the other things. But you have that, that whole thing in the church, especially. You have to deal with that, and that's very important as a black person. That's mm-hmm. your base. Those yeah. are your people. Yeah. Your Italian people. Those are your <laughs> peeps, right? And so um, a lot of cultures so though people, are like that. Not just the black community. Well, it's, it's even. I'm here to tell you. In the black community, it's worse. It's, it's worse. And hopefully it's getting better. Hopefully people like me will make it better. But I think it's sort of the vestiges of, of discrimination and slavery and thinking that you, if you're gay, that you're effeminate or that you're not or a weaker. man weaker. or weaker, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And nothing at all. I don't want to be a woman. I'm not effeminate. You know, I, I'm not weak at all. Certainly, ask anyone who works with me or who knows me or oh, has to date with baby. me. Who has to date me? So, uh, <laughs> I'm not weak at all. So, I just think that's that's part of it, and that the black community especially needs to get over that. And I can't speak for other communities because I'm not that. Yes, of course, yeah. I understand. That's interesting. And and the down low is the down low really where you're really posing as a hetero in your personal life? Is it's that a, what? But then you really go on the side and get your needs. It, it's a double life. Done. It's a double life yeah. where so you... So you, you don't feel you were ever in that? No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. And let me tell you, that just doesn't happen in the black community. It's more prevalent in the black community, yeah. but it happens oh, in yeah. all cultures right. and all races and even of different religions from different countries. They're, I like how you said God made you this way. God ma- I was born gay just as I was born black. Exactly, exactly. It's not a choice. It's, People have to get if, with the program. If it was a choice, then I would have decided when I was a kid or when I prayed all those years that I would change. If it was a choice, something would have happened. I would have changed. It's not a choice. Right.